Hey everybody, it's Nick here. Welcome back to my channel, Nick's Preparedness. Today I'm in North Alabama at the farm that belonged to my great granddad, my granddad, and now my parents. And maybe someday it'll be mine. And I've come over here to pick up the tractor. We've had a little bit of trouble with it. The lifts aren't working right. So I'm gonna take it back to where we live, put it in the garage and see if we can straighten it out. So that brought up an idea about a video on tying things down, mainly using chain. There's a lot of things that we use chain for and a lot of people never dealt with it. So I just wanna take a few minutes and show everybody how to tie something down with a chain, a binder and grab hooks on it. This is no way exhaustive. There's many types of chains, there's many types of binders, but I just wanted to give you some basics right here to where you can use chain if you need to around your home, your homestead or hauling something back and forth while you're preparing. So let's take a closer look at some chain, a binder, and some connection points. All right, these are two common things that you'll find if you're fooling with chain. Obviously a piece of chain, then you've got a ratchet binder and a grab hook. One of the first things I noticed the first time I saw a chain and a grab hook was it didn't seem to work well. If you take the grab hook and the chain, you look at it, well, it doesn't really fit. The way a grab hook works is not to go in the chain. It actually goes in and gets across the whole link. That lets it pull tight against the next link. So that's how you connect a grab hook. I've seen a lot of people try to connect it this way. And when I first started learning to work with chain, I tried that too. Do not connect it that way because when it gets under a load, it'll actually bend or break that hook. All hooks are designed for the chain to be pulled all the way down to the throat. Now there are some big curved hooks that will go all the way around the chain. They're called slip hooks. They'll have a wider throat in there. They can go around the chain, but what you have to watch with them is they actually will slide down and tighten like a noose or a slip knot. So that's how you connect the chain to itself. Now, once you've got a chain connected, you need to tighten it up. If you're just using it to pull something behind you, it'll tighten itself. But if you're wanting to hold a load, you need to make sure that you tighten it down to where there's not any slack in it. So what I'll do is connect this to the trailer and then I'll put this ratchet binder in and show you how that works. Here's another tip when you're working with chain and sometimes even cargo straps. If you have an option to come through an attachment point and put the hook like this, then gravity will hold it down and you won't be running back and forth trying to keep your hook from falling out while you're binding it down. Now this is called a ratchet binder. Obviously it's because it ratchets. As you tighten it, the ratcheting action in the handle lets you keep pulling it together. Basically it's two screws that as you tighten down, pull the slack out of the chain and keep it snug. So I'll tighten this load down. You can hear it ratchet as it tightens. Because it's made out of two screws going into a body, it's also a good idea to keep these fairly well lubricated if you have them. thing you will see is I didn't balance these out very well. I've gotten one a little bit further in than the other. So you can see that this one is going to be bottomed out before this one. It's always good when you start to make sure you screw them all the way in or all the way out and start them at the same. That way you don't run out of room. Now, anytime you secure anything, especially going down the road with either a chain or a strap, you always want to make sure that your excess chain and strap wrapped up and tied out of the way somehow or another. What can happen if you don't is you can pull forwards or back up and that get under your tire. The tire will ride up on it and with chain it might not do anything but tear the tire up but with a strap a lot of times it'll break the strap cause your load to get loose and tear up all kinds of things on your trailer. There is one more kind of binder that we use commonly. It's called a lever binder. It works the same way, but instead of a ratchet, it actually takes leverage 
and a bar pulls across as it tightens up, then snaps into a lockdown point. Be very careful if you're using those. When you're binding them down and when you're releasing them, you usually have to use a bar or a pipe. Now, I didn't have this with me earlier, but I wanted to add this to the video. This is a lever type binder, and it works very similar to the ratchet binder, except that instead of being a screw type mechanism, this relies on binding down with leverage. It works the same way to connect. You spread it out, you hook the grab hooks in both ends of the chain, but for this one, you'll actually take and pull this lever back for it to latch. Now that works pretty simply, but the problem with these, and the reason you have to be very careful using them, is because sometimes you'll be just a little bit too loose, and the next chain link will be way too tight. So you have to split the difference, and oftentimes you have to use a cheater bar or a piece of pipe that you can slide over the edge. They do make some bars that make it a little bit safer because they'll let it unload without kicking the bar up. But I'm about to release this and show you how it can pop up, and this isn't under a very tight load. If it was really tight, you tightened it with a bar, you could see how it could pop up. There's been lots of jaws broken. There's been lots of noses broken lots of eyes busted and other injuries when you let the tension off of these because the bar gets away from you as you release it. So always be very careful and stand clear. I'm gonna release this one so you can see. Now that wasn't very tight and you can still see the recoil action. So be very careful when using lever binders. Well, everything's tied down. It looks like I'm ready to go. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't already done so, please click the like button, subscribe, click the red bell in the corner so you get new videos as soon as they come out, and visit my website and blog at nickspreparedness.com. I get more in depth with a lot of these subjects there than I can in these short videos. And remember, get better and stay ready.